A squared anti malware is a free program and there's the USB version, there's the desktop version and there's a command line scanner which is for more experienced users. Now this is a useful program which is underestimated and some of the more recent malware uninstalls malware bytes, it stops security programs from connecting to the internet and it stops security programs from running which is bad news. Now I will extract the USB version and I will put this onto a USB stick it's exactly the same as the desktop version, the installer version. Now on my USB stick I've already created a folder called A squared and I will extract it to there. Now it takes a while to extract into the and install it the same as it does on the desktop. It's a 64 megabyte download which is a sizable download and that's without the updates. So I'll allow this to carry on installing and as I said it does take a little while but it's a useful program to have as part of a layered security approach. Now I've opened up the folder, it's installed, double click the icon to run it and if you've got the desktop version you'll have a shortcut on your desktop or quick launch or in your program files and the first thing you will get will be a prompt to update the program. Uh, just click yes allow it to update. Again this is a slow process, it takes a while for it to download and complete the updates. So I'll allow it to do that. Now you get more information on the desktop version about updates than you do the USB stick. What you, the first thing you want to do is to go into configuration. Now if you want the right click context menu tick this box to activate the Explorer integration. Under update you can install the program help which is already there, install additional languages at the top you can select your language, install beta updates only if you're comfortable using beta programs otherwise leave this unticked, submit names of detected malware and these will be sent to MZSoft for statistical purposes, verify program modules versions, leave those ticked, logging, if this is left at zero the logs will be unlimited. So. The activate update logging, I'll leave that at uh, 5. And the quarantine logging, I will leave it at 0 for the time being. Under permissions, start A squared free, start the scanner. These need to be left ticked. Change the language, you can untick that once you've selected your language. Edit quarantined objects, quarantine found objects, and delete found objects must be ticked. If you untick them, you won't be able to quarantine or delete. Now as you can see no scans have been carried out, the malware has been installed and what I will do is carry out a scan in a moment. Now the first thing I will do is install this stuff and here we have Softcop. Now this is coming from a lot of different URLs at the moment, various domains and people are downloading it. It's not the program itself, it's what downloads with it that's the biggest problem. Getting rid of Softcop's the easy bit. It's the rest of the stuff that comes with it. Now here you have Softcop running and it'll find a few bits and pieces which are fake anyway. Now I'll run this one which is Antivirus Plus and these were all downloaded uh, within the past few hours and this is an old one, it's been around for a long time. So I will close this window. Now I will also run this program here. Now the registry protector gives me a warning that it wants to add new items to the registry as does Win Patrol. Now this is Windows Police Pro and it's quite a nasty piece of work as they all are. Now this one wants to change the data percent one to pump.exe. Now by clicking no it doesn't actually like it. It won't accept no, it will only accept yes. Now Wind Patrol has also pick, picked up a plugin and here we have the Windows Police Pro interface and it's already finished its scan. It's super fast. So we come out of this 
my computer's at risk because I've got no malware or no anti-malware, no antivirus, nothing running. And this window will keep popping up until you actually purchase the full version. And there's no way I would buy this crap, it's a load of junk. Uh, stick only to trusted programs. Now this one wants to actually add SVO host to the startup programs and as you can see on the desktop there are three shortcuts to these programs. Now the SVO host, this is bad news because it will run on startup and it really will mess with your machine. So again I will close this window and one of your best friends is your Windows Task Manager Antivirus Plus One End Process. Go down through the list, learn to know what you have running and you will then be able to shut stuff off quickly. Now soft cop is there I'll end the process and the same with Windows Police Pro end the process. So the processes are no longer running. This makes it a lot easier for any anti-malware to run and do its job. Now I'll do a scan. If you do a quick scan it's not as effective. It will find the rogue programs but there's a lot of stuff it won't find. So really you want to do a deep scan. Now because I have separate drives I would do a custom scan and delete these two drives from the scan scanning only my C drive and a heuristic scan for unknown malware. Save the settings, click save, click next and all browsers must be closed and this is quite important. I just let it scan and this will take a while you can go away and cook your dinner and when it's finished you get this. So all you do is tick this box, don't show this message again and close it. Now it's detected 46 objects, uh, directory objects, trace files and so on, Windows Police Pro, Antivirus Plus and they're unticked because they're medium risk, soft cop. Ticked items, fake plus which is the pop-ups, uh, TDSS which is nasty, uh, there's another low risk one here which I would take out, there are Trojans also ticked and I will delete the set selected objects. Now a pop-up tells you that if you delete them then you can't do any more and that's it, they're gone. That's ideal. Now Windows Police Pro, it tells me that it cannot be deleted and I also get the same pop-up with Antivirus Plus. But if you look in your program files these have actually been deleted, they do not exist and everything has gone from the desktop, the installers, the shortcuts and everything has been taken out of the program files in the registry as well. Now I'll do a quick scan with Malware Bytes Anti-Malware which is now running and see what this picks up and see what A squared has missed. Now the scan's completed, it's found one infected object, look at the results, there's a malware trace which is skynet.dat remove selected and as always it needs to be rebooted to finalize the process and I will do that in just a moment. Now your best friends are your task manager and wind patrol. If you want any more information and you want download links check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk